All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're gonna do a whip and chat here. And I'll just show you the picture really quick. All right, so Dreamer Designs, Fine Soft Day by Liam Kelly. 120 centimeters by 40 centimeters. 47.2 inches by 15.7 inches. Square drill, uh, 52 colors, including two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're just a shinier type of drill with an iridescent coating reminiscent of the Northern Lights. All right. Flare, everybody's doing good. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Yeah, I turned off a bank of lights above me, so we're good. Let's get a swig of some cold McDonald's coffee. <laughs> Alright, and we'll just keep working on the sky here. Alright, right, 37.61. Alright. Yeah, I worked the past couple days, so I've been able to record, so all good. Yeah, I just ran some errands today earlier. Grab some McDonald's for lunch. It was kind of underwhelming, but I just eat it every once in a while. <laughs> I couldn't eat that every day. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, I don't mind their coffee. I get it every once in a while. Yeah, it's nice that we have a McDonald's in town here, but. Yeah, it's not something I'm going to be flocking to all the time. Yeah, just every once in a while in my case. Yeah. Not the... It's fast food, but yeah. I couldn't eat there all the time. Axel was all over me. While I was eating it. So I was tossing them the takeout bag. Tossed that on the floor. He was sticking his head in it. Oh, excuse me. Then I poured my french fries into the burger container. Like the top compartment. He must have been smelling the cooking oil or whatever. The grease or whatever. <laughs> It's driving the nuts. I had to like push him back onto the other cushion of my of the couch with my hand. And I kept saying no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Not letting you eat this crap. I shouldn't be eating this crap. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> It's fast food, it's a snack, it's nice every once in a while, but yeah, uh, just because McDonald's is in town doesn't mean I go there every day. Tim Hortons, yeah, I go there a little, a little more than uh, that of McDonald's, but I just basically a coffee and a donut, or just coffee every once in a while, do yeah. But yeah, there are days where I don't go to Tim Hortons either. So I don't know, but just what I do. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of habit forming. Yeah, going to a place you you like. It's all good. Yeah, Tim Hortons is just basically coffee and a donut every once in a while, but mostly just for coffee. I get the odd sandwich every now and then, but yeah. All of it just seems like a snack to me. Like nothing. Yeah, 
haven't got the diamond pin in a couple days. I woke up this morning with a headache. Like, <laughs> tried sleeping for a bit more. I just turned on my bedroom light and then just uh, lied in bed for a few more minutes. See if that would be the case. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, I just get headaches every now and then. Yeah, it's a thing. I know the pressure in the air could be changing. It could be a uh, transitioning to spring, and I guess that bothers me in a sense. Or barometer pressure changes. No, oh, could be anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's clouded over today too, so as usual, probably have seasonal affect disorder or something, or just sensitive to low pressure systems. Overcast days where the sun's not present. Yeah, it's kind of react to the elements that way too, so. Oh well, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've had headaches before, so yeah. <laughs> Just nice to be diamond painting again. Got distracted by social media and running errands earlier, so I had to put gas in the car. So <laughs> I just put like twenty bucks in. Yeah, I don't really go for a full tank anymore, really. Or these days, gas prices are still ridiculous. So, as long as I get, can get from point A to point B, I just really don't panic too much about it. Now, it's easier to keep it simple rather than complicated. And there's a lot of this blue. <laughs> Great. I had thought I put like double double on the order screen on McDonald's, but I just ended up getting a large black coffee. I think that was my fault. <laughs> I think I screwed up. I swear I hit double double on the order screen. Something must have happened. Oh, that cream and sugar here at home, so I just put cream and sugar into the cup and stirred. <laughs> I wasn't going to make a fuss at McDonald's for condiments. Cause it just said a large coffee on the receipt, so I, it was probably my end of things. I buggered up. It's really not something to flip a table over <laughs> and solve that problem. So, yeah. Uh, if you like pizza, we have like six or seven pizza places in town here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, just pizza, pizza, New Orleans pizza, uh, a 
Little Caesars. Uh, Stacy's Pizza or something. There's a couple independent ones. I don't remember them all. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... Anybody do any market research <laughs> for coming to St. Mary's? Like, yikes. Oh yeah, Pizza Hut. Yep. I don't know. I wouldn't be eating pizza seven days a week though, either. But it's an every once in a while thing, but not in this house. If I want to get a slice, I go to New Orleans. Just places that sell slices, I, I don't care, it's pizza. <laughs> Not really picky about a brand or anything, just as long as it's pizza. <laughs> it's like a slice, I don't want to buy like a whole pizza for myself. Like, it's kind of like the McDonald's thing. I just get like a Big Mac meal every once in a while. I don't go there every week. <sighs> yeah, it's fine if you get coffee from there. Like, Tim Hortons, if you get a coffee, like, during the work, your work week or whatever, or like Dunkin' Donuts down in the States, like, I don't know, if there, you have like a favorite restaurant or fast food chain that you go to all the time, it's great. Just something I don't do all the time. <laughs> But, except for Tim Hortons, yeah. Or I just basically ate coffee. Yeah. We all have our vices, and that's fine. I'll have our favorite fast food outlets. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's where you like to go, yeah. No problems here, it's just not something I do on a regular basis. <laughs> I don't know, that's save you dishes or if you just want to like a quick snack or whatever. Yeah, I just think everything's just a snack <laughs> from fast food. It's just... Yeah, well, food was warm when I got it. Nothing wrong, it's just... Yeah, the prices of, I just remember a Big Mac meal being like five bucks. I was like almost ten bucks. To get like a medium fries. And probably the coffee was a bit more added to the order. I am sure if it was made into a value meal the way I punched it in, but they were asking me for a drink again when they're like, oh, okay, make it a meal. I think I just paid a bit more, didn't get the value meal discount, but like how you punch it in, but I just put everything in separately. Yeah, it's just basically a touch screen menu in the McDonald's now. I think a lot of people just streamline for there instead of going to the counter. But yeah, if it does get busy in one of those locations, um, yeah, people have to use the counter begrudgingly. <laughs> oh, well, it's all good. Yeah, I'm not dissing fast food or anything. No, it's just, it's there, it's convenient, and anybody can access it if they want to. That's what they want to do. No, nothing wrong. I, I just do it in moderation. So, it's not, yeah, uh, not sponsored by McDonald's or anything or Tim Hortons. So, it's just. <laughs> 
you can eat wherever you want, you know, do whatever you want regarding fast food, what you get from there, Dunkin' Donuts, etc. Yeah, yeah, just do what I like you, do what you like to do. So it's just the summary of my experiences. I probably drink a lot more homemade coffee from like a, our coffee machine, our single serve. Probably drink a lot more coffee at home than I do going to fast food chain order. So. Mm, it's all good. Well, and if you're traveling and you see one of those stores, you can just go there like almost any time and just be like yeah yeah I'll grab a coffee or whatever grab a nice little cheeseburger or something yeah I don't know it's Dunkin Donuts basically like coffee and donuts I don't know if they have like a soups or sandwiches or anything could very well be a clone of uh, Tim Hortons but like down in the United States Nothing wrong with that, and we have Tim Hortons up here, so, up here in Canada, so, that's fine. I don't know, I think there's, like, a couple Tim Hortons just, like, on the border in the States there, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dunkin' Donuts is, uh, down there. I'm not sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts either, so. <laughs> I just see a, a lot of it on social media and some commercials on TV for how sparsely I watch TV. Well, it's all good. It's an option. It's there. Uh, we have Starbucks up here too, and they're slowly filtering into grocery stores, certain brand grocery stores, where there's a booth right on the grocery store, and you can get Starbucks. Uh, a couple of bookstores that have Starbucks integrated in there as well. Oh, it's an option. It's stronger coffee, not necessarily my favorite. I tried it once, and yeah, it was strong. <laughs> it's a stronger coffee, so... Oh, mm, people like that, then that's awesome. I'm not here to diss any uh, fast food franchises who are allowed to have options. So, yeah, customers should have choice. Consumer should choose... Uh, able to choose where they can uh, just walk in and eat or drink. And just have like another option just in case your first option isn't readily available for some reason. Stuff happens. <clears throat> But yeah, there are some places some people absolutely will not walk into. And yeah, I can understand that too. That's fair. It's reasonable. Don't have to like everything or everywhere. So, yeah, it's just the way it goes. Oops. Yeah, I'm like right by the... <laughs> My stand's kind of, or my holder's kind of bent a little, so I'm like bumping it with, with my pen. Yeah, it's just one of those wire kind of clip stands I got from the dollar store. <laughs> I don't know, they, they had a phone case.
camera clip and that's what I've used in my videos to record so it's holding my phone up yeah nothing too high tech here I'm sure there's like better phone clips to be able to record and stuff but this is what I have for the moment and it's doing the trick it's not perfect by any means but Uh, not gonna panic. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. <laughs> as long as I can uh, record and spend some time with the growing community, then uh, all the better. Yeah, thanks for the support as always. <laughs> really do appreciate everybody being here or just popping in, leaving a comment. It's all good. That's what we're all about here. That goes the color. Just hanging out in Diamond Man. Those two stuck together. Yep. Okay, I gotta watch out for T here. There's like a another cloud. Yeah, there's like different color cloud. I think it's this darker blue here, but yeah. <laughs> Just this lighter blue is quite the color block with a few stragglers. Just kind of accentuating detail of the sky. Yeah, the sky can be one of the trickiest parts of any landscape. Usually get a lot of color blocking. Usually pretty busy. Couple shades of blue or yeah, mostly color blocking up in the sky region. But that's okay. That's why I've made smaller sections in past weapon chats. Yeah, it's kind of a bugger to be just diamond painting the same color for a whole whip and chat, but sometimes, yeah, just to get through the section. Yeah. Well, just like a TSA's uh, Night Horse by a Polina, Bush, Polina Bivsheva a uh, couple whips ago. No. I just kind of kept saying that, yeah, there's a lot of blue in this. So, <laughs> so you're like, uh, a, just doing like a blue canvas. <laughs> no, there, the sky played a lot of, played quite a definitive role in the overall tone of uh, Night Horse by Aplina Bivsheva. It's still available as far as I know. I looked like a week ago on the website, TSA's website. I'm not a, affiliated with TSA. That's just the canvas that I did on here. <laughs> just just telling you. <laughs> At, <laughs> whole time I worked on it, I showed the, um, the sheet, the legend sheet with the schematic picture on it, yeah. Uh, I guess the schematic sheet, yeah. That's what I like doing on here. Every time I do a video, and if I'm working on a canvas, I'm showing what I'm working on. Even if I have to take a photo of the bottom label of a box and print it off, that's what I'll do. Just in case somebody's like jumping in and like, uh, okay, what? What is he doing? <laughs> Canvas is this? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's just why I do that in my little introduction. So, just so everybody's on the same page. And so I'm recognizing the artist and the company. That That's important, so. <laughs> that's why I do it. Just so you can 
kind of tune in, in any whip and chat and just know exactly what's going on. And if it's an unboxing, I usually say what it is, I believe. Yeah, it's usually on block unboxing of so and so by yeah. It's just I do some pretty uh I do detailed unboxings. Even if it's a diamond painting company that uh we're all familiar with. If there are a lot of senior diamond painters that are probably subscribed. But if you're not, then that's good too, and it's a learning experience. It's just kind of a visual, because I'm highly visual as well. So I, it's better for me to show than to try and explain. Just show kit in full detail, even though you've probably seen kits and what's in them hundreds of times. It's just, yeah just a presentation of usually what the next canvas is what canvas I'm going to be working on for these whipping chats so yeah oh here it works for me I hope it works for the viewers just to give them insight as to what you are expecting to see in said kit even though there might be a couple of diamond painting companies that have upgraded their kits since, or some stuff may have changed, but I usually say it's an older kit too, so. Night Horse is a kit that's been around for a while, but I was later informed that they print to order. So it hadn't been sitting around waiting for me to order it. <laughs> it just was printed in that time period and delivered. So I learned that and I appreciate that uh, insight. Does yeah. When you don't know, you don't know. So there, I learned that that day. I got that message, so I uh, appreciate the expertise and knowledge in that. So, here you go. <laughs> and, yeah, I just pass that knowledge on, and, yeah, just to help people make an informed decision, or just so they know what's going on. Alright, oh, we're getting there with this blue... Oh, yeah, it's a grind, but it's just nice to be sitting here and working on it again. Yeah, as for, like, fast food again, it's, it's basically talking about fast food, and yeah, we go to Subway, like, basically every Thursday. That's, like, one of our meals for dinner every week. That's uh, my dad and I's turn to cook. <laughs> Him and I get Subway subs. Yeah, well, he gets a wrap, but we'll just... Sandwiches, anyway. Whatever. We eat those, and then uh, gets my mom a salad to eat on Thursday from the grocery store. I ate a vegetable salad yesterday. But yeah, <laughs> basically almost hit the half hour mark. So you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile, uh, my Facebook business page, Echoes of Color. It's a hyperlink. You basically click on it and you'll be directed to that page if you want to follow it. And, uh, my Instagram handle, all three, I just kind of update simultaneously or the best that I can to keep it the same across all three. So yeah. <laughs>
Anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors. Uh, thank you for the support as always. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.